Brandon, congratulations on your win today. Can you describe your overall impressions of Dale Hollow? Uh, well, thank you. And, you know, it, when I first pulled up to Dale Hollow, I immediately thought smallmouth mecca of the world, right? That's where the world record's held. And I really thought that that was going to be the dominant species. But by the end of the day, three quarters of my fish were largemouth. And that really kind of shocked me. Uh, but still think that it's an absolutely amazing lake, full of fish and beautiful scenery. So at the end of the first period, your total weight was 22 pounds of two ounces. Did you feel pretty confident at that point with a little more than 13 pound lead? You know, getting a start like that in the first period of MLF is, I mean, that's kind of what you dream about. You know, those are the starts that you want. And it just gives you a good cushion, but it's never safe. You know, with every fish counting in this format, guys can catch a bunch of 12 inchers and really catch up. And, um, you know, that kind of happened throughout the day a little bit. You only caught one fish in the entire second period. Did you start to worry a little bit? You know, the second period kind of wore on me a little bit. Um, I had decided that I was going to try some new things. I didn't want to get stuck fishing just one specific area. And so I really spent a lot of my second period looking for new things and kind of learning the zone that we had. And I only caught one and oh, Mr. Brent Chapman kind of put the herd on him in the second period and really got some big weights. So by the end of the second period, like you said, Brent Chapman was within less than six pounds, six pounds of catching you. What were you feeling at that moment? And I definitely started feeling some pressure when uh, when you go from having almost a 13 pound lead down, you know, literally cutting that lead in half, uh, it kind of puts the pressure on you, you know, because then all of a sudden where he's catching, you know, a four pounder in the second period and catches some three pounders, uh, that it doesn't take very many of that quality of fish to get deficit, a, um, you know, a four or five, six pound lead. So I was really feeling the pressure on that one. Brandon, after the top water bite, came to an end, you changed over to small plastics. What were you throwing uh, and what was the best depth after the top water bite ended? You know, when, it, when those fish quit busting on the surface, I knew that they weren't gonna leave that area. Uh, it was a pretty specific area that there wasn't really anywhere for them to go. I just felt like they had backed off and they weren't pushing the bait up as shallow as they were before. Uh, so I, I switched to um, a little twitch tail minnow small three inch minnow style bait and I just put that on a drop shot and figured that that finesse technique would be able to pick up you know a few more fish with me on that one. Brandon this win puts you in the summit cup a uh, different level the, uh, for, or at least different group of anglers. Is uh, excited about that? I am excited about getting into this you know into one of the cups um, I haven't got to fish one of those yet. I fished against some of those guys in other circuits, but uh, when it comes to MLF, it's a whole new format, and you see a lot of anglers, um, you know, shine in that format. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited to get to finally fish against that group of guys in this format. Brandon, this was your third MLF event. How do you feel about the tournament format? Uh. This this format is it's unlike anything else. Uh, it definitely messes with your emotions a lot more, and it you have to approach it in a completely different mindset because you know there was one instance today that I was actually away from the area that I'd caught him in the morning. It was during the second period, and I looked over and I saw another boat sitting right where I had caught the, all those fish in the morning and. Normally, in a you know regular format tournament, I wouldn't know what everyone was catching. I would be worried, and I would probably run over there and try to defend that area. But with having the score tracker updates from our boat officials, I just sat back about a half mile away, and I watched, and I continued to fish, and I knew that nobody was catching anything because there were no updates coming in. And so I just, instead of showing somebody how I was catching them there, I just let them fish it out and leave before I went back. So talking about the pressures of the game, um, Brent Chapman climbed to within one and a half pounds in the third period. And with less than an hour to go, you voted a three pound and a two pound. Did 
did you think that was going to be enough? Oh, um, it definitely took some pressure off catching those fish. You know, there was a, a moment there where I had caught one real early in the third period, right at the beginning, and then I went through a dead period where, you know, I was running a pattern and I wasn't getting bit and I knew I needed to adjust and change and he was continually just catching, you know, pound and a half or two pounders and that lead kept slowly going away. And so when I got to that pound and a half mark, I knew I needed to make a change and I made the decision to run back to where I caught him in the morning just because I knew that there were fish in that area, you know, and I, I knew I would at least be around fish. Whether or not I get, got bit, I didn't know. And so when I pulled up and caught a three pounder and a two pounder, I felt like that at least gave me a chance. Without those fish, I knew that Brent was going to catch enough to surpass me. And so, you know, just catching, especially even the first one, it was a big weight off my shoulders and then the very next cast I caught a two pounder and I, f I felt like that gave me a really good chance at that point. Brandon, I understand that you've got to get back to home because you're the best man in a wedding. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, when uh, I've got the, my best friend at home, Zach, we've been friends since we were little kids growing up and we've done everything together and uh, I've known his, or his fiance now at this point, I've known her just as long as he has. I was with him when he met her. And so she's, you know, just as good of friends uh, as he is. And when they decided to get married finally, they looked at my fishing schedule and booked their wedding around my fishing schedule. Well, we had a conflict in the MLF selects so this event got rescheduled, and it got rescheduled on the one open week that we had, because uh, we don't have very many open weeks in our schedule. And uh, so, you know, luckily, I was able to make things work. Uh, bachelor party starts in a couple of days, and I got to get home for that, and um, get home for the wedding, and it'll be uh, it'll be a lot more enjoyable knowing that I was able to win an event. So it, it's brutally obvious you've dated this woman in the past, so you have conflicting emotions. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've not dated her. Um, luckily, luckily I've not dated her. Uh, that would make things maybe a little bit awkward, but I was, I was with him when I met her and we walked in, he said, I call the blonde. I said, all right, she's all yours. And the rest is history. Brandon, you've been very successful at a lot of different levels. Very short career, but very successful career. How does winning yesterday, today, how does that rank among all the other things that you've done? I really, really hate losing, and I really like winning. And so each each win for me kind of has its its own feeling, uh, its own importance, right? I mean, they, they all have a different level of importance for me. Um, not really, I guess, any one more than the other, uh, you know, but to get a win in this format finally um, kind of, I guess, solidifies me fishing in this format, just personally. And, uh, you know, I guess, I guess just being able to make those adjustments where last year I'd I had a very subpar year in this format. To be able to make those adjustments throughout the day and kind of close it out was definitely a good feeling.